So, uh, Austin, you ready to watch this? Yeah. What are we watching? <laughs> Star Wars Holiday Special. You sure are? Are you having fun, Austin? Are you having fun? Stir, whip, stir, whip, whip, stir. Does he have a fourth arm? Yep. Stir, whip, stir, whip, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the review. So what that back? We're doing a quick special. Oh, hold on. What's up guys? Welcome back to Was It That Bad? We decided to give Dude. you guys a little holiday treat. Yeah. One I know we said the last one was gonna be our last Room review. Slash disaster artist review. Yeah. But this time it is a review of one of the most regrettable Star Wars movies ever. Not the prequels. The Star Wars Holiday Special. Blast off to a galaxy far, far away. It's the Star Wars Holiday Special, starring all your Star Wars favorites. Will Chewbacca get home to his planet in time for the big Wookiee holiday celebration? Find out on the star-studded Star Wars Holiday Special, Friday at 8, 7, Central and Mountain. You're on. Now, Nolan, it's in what canon? It's in Legends, so this is not part of the new canon that's out right now. This is technically Legends. So this isn't real canon, but it's Legends. And like with The Room, Austin's never seen it. I've only <laughs> seen it once before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this movie. I, I got this. How? Uh, basically, a majority of it is, uh, you think, you think Chewbacca's adorable. Yeah. I think the sound he makes is cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, uh, just take that and make about an hour's worth of a movie of just Chewbacca noises. It follows not even Chewbacca. It follows his family on Kashyyyk. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, it's not even, like... It doesn't even have to. It, Chewbacca's not even in it until the end, I don't think. Yeah, it's he's in like the beginning for a bit and then just sprinkle him in with... It's a variety show. A Star Wars variety show. There's only... It transitions into a cartoon for some reason. It, Yeah, it does. And it's the first appearance of Boba Fett, believe it or not, in anything Star Wars. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, nuts. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, How else would you like describe it, Nolan? <laughs> there's literally the, a deleted scene dubbed over with James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. Yeah, they use a lot of footage from A New Hope. Yeah, it's so lazy. It's so fascinating. This cost a million dollars to make, and it was only aired once. George Lucas has gone on record and said that he regrets the special and if he had time and a sledgehammer, he would destroy every bootleg copy of this movie. So he's coming for you, Nolan. <sighs> yes, he's coming for me. But again, there will always be YouTube and stuff like that. So, yeah. good luck with that, George. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Is that where you got it from, was YouTube? Or? I get, yeah, we. I got it from YouTube, so it's fine. I only view it for special occasions for, like, people who say, oh, I'm diehard fans of Star Wars. <laughs> and they're really not. It's this like, all right, it... let's just watch this thing. This is a really good Star Wars movie. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! It's the holiday special. <laughs> it's the holiday special. This is a film so bad that the late, great Carrie Fisher put it on after, like, during parties when she wanted people to leave. Harrison Ford won't even talk about this in interviews. If you even bring it up, he'll be like, no, next question. Yeah, he'll, he'll get pretty triggered, understandably so. I mean, it was a mess from what it, I saw as far as production goes. And then there's softcore porn, I think, in the middle of it. Yeah, I was like, a, I looked to Nolan, I was like, do I need to have permission for my mother to see yeah, this? Or This is a family special, and there's somewhat of softcore porn in it. Was it the Wookiee? No, it wasn't between the Wookiees. It was a human woman and Grandpa Itchy. 
that's Wookie's uh, dad. That's Chewbacca's, that's Chewbacca's dad. dad. His wife is Mala, and their son is named Lumpy. <laughs> Lumpy. Now, this. What did you like about it, Nolan? I don't like that it ended. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where I'm like. You do, when you people, casual Star Wars fans probably just think of you know like the main films out there, and then there's this. Then there's this. There's a lot of Star Wars things that are bad, like the two Ewok movies. Which next semester maybe. Which next semester maybe. Then there's the two animated Clone Wars series, the one bef that came out right before Revenge of the Sith, and then the cartoon like the CGI one that came out a few years ago. Then there are droid cartoons and Ewok cartoons. Yeah. There's just a never-ending list of just weird Star Wars things that are not in the main saga or the anthology films. So, Nolan, I have to ask you a question. Was it that bad? Yes, but can I say something else? Yes. If you are a Star Wars fan and you don't want to admit it and you've never seen this, see it at least once a full viewing a full viewing not just some review on youtube like this a full viewing of the holiday special mm -hmm. <laughs> surprising i think it's kind of worth it i think it is too you know it's i think it's almost a rite of passage for like real star wars fans to be quite honest yeah <laughs> it's funny because our sophomore year we attempted to watch it uh-huh but Kruger, our, one of our roommates at the time, said, please turn it off after 10 minutes. It got to the, uh, like, gymnastics yeah. the aerobics bit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, uh, I think I'll definitely appreciate The Last Jedi coming here. Up oh, here yeah, it makes you appreciate The Last Jedi. I can't wait to see that movie. I can't either. Um... I think it's going to be great, but if you haven't seen this movie yet, or, yeah, just this quick announcement, if you haven't seen The Last Jedi yet, and if you're going to see it on Thursday and Friday, don't spoil it for anyone until a week after the movie's been released. Yeah. Just as a favor. That first week is, you know, everyone's going to be getting those tickets, paying a lot for those tickets, and trying to get into those theaters. And they're just, just let them enjoy the experience, you know? Yes, and I might do a solo review once it's been a week, and I've seen it at least twice, three times. Yeah. Maybe. And get, um, like, a full in-depth spoiler review. I might, I might have to film some stuff from California and send it to you, Nolan. Yeah, do it. But, yeah... That's our little, like, treat to you guys before The Last Jedi. This was kind of just last minute, but, again. Final swing. Uh, I only have two more finals to go. Same here. So, again, follow me on Twitter, at the Nolan Vogel. At the wire underscore machine. And this is, we, we agreed. This is the last review of the semester. Yeah, this is the last one. We promise. We promise. I mean, unless we get bored. No, it's the last one. It is the last one. There's literally, what, two days for both of us, and yeah. we're both leaving right after our last final. Yeah, and uh, mine's going to be, I'm done. I'll be gone off campus by, at the latest, 2.30. Same here. Well, until next semester, yep. or whenever I see Happy you guys holidays. Next. Happy holidays, and may the force...